Hey guys. Good morning. So I am on my way to the store to pick up a few things. Um, we're starting to run out of stuff at home so I thought I'd try to get an early start and go out and get a few things before the stores get crowded my favorite go-to place though is Walgreens because there's you know there's no line it's usually a quick in and out it's like no fuss I try to avoid the larger chain stores as much as possible um, food delivery is just I, that's what we normally use, um, grocery delivery, but it's been um, a little bit challenging. Sometimes it takes a couple of days um, to get it. And so when I do go to the grocery store, hubby and I just, you know, we get together and double up and just get like a two to three weeks worth of groceries. And, and we seem, that seems to have been working pretty well. So we just try to get it all done at one time to avoid having too many uh, people going back and forth and that sort of thing. But anyway, I hope that everybody is doing okay and that everybody is staying safe out there. We have started, um, we're in Florida for those of you who don't know, and we have started to notice that there's a lot more people that are out now um, than there were a few weeks ago. So I'm not sure what's going on. I know there's still a stay at home. Um, or, you know, stay in place order still, but I, I don't know what's going on because there seems to be a lot more cars on the road. So anyway, just be careful if you're out and about and, um, you know, as soon as I get out, I'm going to put on my mask and my gloves and, and do the whole bit. So anyway, we've been lucky, you know, I'm still teaching. Um, so that's great. We also have our own business, but I mentioned in a previous, um, video that that's kind of on hold right now. But um, I've been virtual teaching, so that's been going really, really great. Um, so that allows me to keep working. Um, John's an auto technician, so he is still working. Um, so we're really, really lucky that we're both still employed right now and that we're not, you know, really having any of those um, financial type issues. So, um, so, you know, that's been a blessing, um, especially being the fact that we have four kids. Um, so we really do appreciate, appreciate having our jobs. Um, and then of course in our downtime, which there's a lot of right now, um, we're just trying to keep the kids focused and make sure that they're taking their classes and going to their virtual school because they have virtual school too. Um, so, and we just found out that they'll be in virtual school until the rest of the school year. So, you know, it's just a change that we have to adapt to. Um, and it's fine because to be honest, our kids are homebodies and they love being on the, they love being on the computer. They love being online. So they've adapted really well. The hardest part is really, um, adapting to my four-year-old schedule because you know he's four and he's used to have you know going to school and having a routine and and that whole bit so that's been really tough because I have office hours that I have to attend to which coincide with when you know his actual school day takes place so it you know it's changing his schedule a little bit so um so he's that's it's been a lot harder adapting to his schedule so what I've done is I've created a schedule for him that works with my schedule and then um, we basically do we basically uh, attend school that way for him so he will, will wake up in the morning he'll have his breakfast and then he actually has downtime depending on the day in a few hours in the morning um, because that is if that's the day that I have morning office hours, that's his downtime. 
Um, and then, uh, then the rest of the day when my office hours are over, then we continue um, with his schedule. And so he'll have reading, he'll have a little bit of phonics. Um, we will um, play games. Uh, maybe do some um, some word association, you know, all the curriculum for um, a four-year-old. He loves working on the computer, but I've been trying to kind of like take a little bit of that. Um, I've been trying not to expose him too much because once he gets online, he loves being on the computer. Then he wants to go on different websites and, you know, and then that becomes a whole deal. So I've just been doing a lot of flashcards with him. We've been doing his workbooks and that sort of thing. So, um, and then he gets PE, he gets outdoor play, which is really great. What I realized recently is that um, he loved, well, obviously I knew that he always loved riding his bike, but um, he's gotten so much faster riding his bike. Um, so now when I go to work out, I just take him with me um, to ride his bike and so we're just so I can keep up with him and jog a little bit and we kind of are at the same pace so it's great so far we've all been okay um, we co-parent with Kathleen um, my middle daughter um, so the schedule with her is still the same we haven't had any issues thank goodness so far um, with that the schedule is the same um, I'm at the parking lot, so I'm, that's why I'm taking my seatbelt off. I'm about to go in the grocery store. Um, and so, yeah, so that schedule's been going good. I'm actually just getting back from picking her up. I dropped her off at home, and now I'm going to get groceries and stuff. But, but that's going fine. No issues there. Um, and that's been known to be a little bit, like, annoying or stressful sometimes. Um, that communication back and forth. But... You know, as of late, we've sort of just been kind of like not engaging in too much extra communication if we don't have to. And that seems to be working pretty good. And uh, so really, we just set a tone and, it, and, it's, and it's fine. So we don't have any, you know, situations with that. But I will tell you, co-parenting, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about that if I can. Um, is not always easy. It's, it's actually really hard. Um, I mean, it has been hard. It's not hard now, but it has been hard and it's getting uh, better because of the fact that there's a lot, there's lack of communication. And I'll tell you what's funny is I love Jada Pinkett Smith and I love Alicia Keys and their whole, um, their whole attitude on co-parenting. And I definitely am that kind of parent that thinks that all the parents um, should really get a, try to get along and you know it's for the best effort of the kids. In fact, in my culture, um, I'm Haitian, my family um, has always had uh, this attitude that you know additional family members are your family members, you know? So if you have a step parent, they become part of your extended family and that's how I grew up and that was our situation growing up, um, you know? so. I always wanted to continue that on if, if I was ever in that position and I find myself in that position but you know if the other person is not really making that very accessible I have learned that you know there's only so much you can do um, you, you continue to do your best and continue to um, be as cordial as possible um, but it only works if all the parties involved really want to do that. So we basically have minimal communication with the other party, um, um, parties actually, um, for all the kids and, and that's okay. We are getting a little bit, um, what do they call it? Like cabin fever. Um, so we're all like wanting to go out, but we know that we can't and we're just, you know, I'm sure everybody is, everybody's going through that. Everybody is feeling that way. Um, we had a vacation planned in June. We're supposed to go to Tennessee. We're supposed to go see the Smoky Mountains and go to Gatlinburg, um, and do that whole, um, you know, nature type trip this summer. We're so excited about it, you guys, but I don't know. We may have to push it back. 
um, you know, even if the guidelines are loosened a little bit, I, mean, I don't know if it'll, if it's, if the environment will be, you know, safe enough or we're not really sure what's going on with that. So, you know, so, you know, stand by and <laughs> we'll give you an update on that if, you know, if the Michelone's, uh, Tennessee vacation, which definitely, of course we will, um, will definitely, um, record and you guys will be a part of that. Um, but we'll see if that's going to be, if that's going to happen. Um, right now, day to day, we're just working on trying to stay sane and not go crazy. Um, but we're, we're doing okay. We really are. We, we love hanging out. We always spend time together as a family. We're usually in the, you know, together all the time, but being in the house 24 hours, seven days a week is a little hard. So we just try to take our walks and school um, the baby goes on his bike rides and you know and the kids will you know throw the football or throw a frisbee around and in the backyard and that sort of thing and you know it's been fine easter was really fun um i haven't posted any of the easter footage um maybe i will but that was really fun we got the kids involved the older kids because that's always hard the little kids, you know, they love, um, all that Easter fun stuff, but the older kids, uh, we got them involved cause we obviously had to bribe them. Basically <laughs> we put money in the Easter eggs, um, and some of the Easter eggs and like $5 bills. So, um, you know, they had to uh, find all the golden eggs that had the, the money in it and they had fun. So that was nice. So we're just trying to do things a little bit, um, creative, um, and just try to, give them other, you know, fun things to do. So this weekend, I'm trying to figure out something that we could do in the backyard. I was thinking we could play, you know, um, like kickball or we could do, um, a Frisbee game or something. Um, there's quite a bit that you can do. Um, it's just that we have taken advantage. I mean, we've taken it for granted, you know, um, playing outside. We're so glued to our electronics and, you know, and the television and stuff. So, but it's nice to be able to, to do that and get out. As far as our kids are concerned, they're fine. They're like, they're fine because they have their computers, of course. So they're okay. Um, it's us that's really like, you know, getting a little cabin fever crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's my day. Today I'm pretty much going to finish grading papers um or assignments because they're not physical papers um and then I'm going to work on Andrew's curriculum with him a little bit more um he wasn't always it's really important that he stays on target because he's four but he's actually in elementary school and we got him into an elementary school a year ahead because um, he was eligible to be a part of this program because we noticed that when he was younger, he wasn't really speaking on time, on target. So we wanted to be able to tackle that as soon as possible. Um, so he is in you know elementary school now and because of coronavirus, obviously there's no homeschool for him. Like there's homeschool for the older kids, but I've, you know, I've talked to his teacher and there's no curriculum for, you know, the four-year-olds that are in that program. I'm not sure about the other grades, but for him, there isn't. So I have to create his whole curriculum, which is fine. I'm a teacher, so I can do that. And I am doing that. But, um, but it's really important that I do that because, you know, he was already delayed in speaking a little bit. And so I try, I want to make sure that, that he doesn't lose any tactical time, that he's still, you know, learning all of the things that he needs to in order to be on target. He's been doing extremely well in his class and at his school, so I really don't want him to get behind. So anyway, um, I'll be focusing a lot more on that lately. The first couple of weeks were a little bit shaky because I've never taught his age group. Like, I've always taught middle school. Um, so I've been just kind of reading up on stuff and just going over things with him and and trying to get a routine going with him that co coincides with my schedule. Um, and that seems to be working now, so. Tiger King. 
I have not been able to catch up with that show. So, um, we have, we use the, uh, the fire stick and that's what I watch all my shows on. And, um, and the remote wasn't working, um, for a little while and we just got it to work start, um, like yesterday. So I will be back on set watching, catching up to figure out what the buzz is about. Like I keep hearing about it. So I want to watch it so that I can, um, so that I can give my updates on it and um, but I don't need to promote it it's already like amazing um, from what I hear it's it's widely watched so anyway but I just want to see what the hype is I want to know what what the hype is all about so I'll be watching that catching up on that um, John is into I can't remember what the sh name of the show is but he is like obsessed with this show shameless he is obsessed with this show shameless and so <clears throat> we couldn't watch it for a while because of the same issue because the TV downstairs has a completely different setup than the one upstairs. And so we can, we're able to watch like Netflix and all, everything else upstairs, but not downstairs. So the, so that whole thing was broken upstairs. Now it's fixed anyway. So he's like catching up on his shameless and he's like the happiest guy in the world. So I'm, I'm happy that he's able to like, you know, fill his time a little bit with his favorite show. Um, comment below if you know of that show and tell me what you think about it. That show is crazy. There are some racy things going on in that show, um, but it's funny. Uh, I've, I've watched it with him a little bit. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think about it and if you um, and if you like it as well. And if you're still watching, I, I don't know if the season is still going or not because, you know, I, he really watches it. Um, but yeah, it seems to be a cool show. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and go in the grocery store and then I will catch up with you guys later when I'm back at home with the crew. Um, and then we'll see what they're, what they're up to today. All right. Bye. You're not going anywhere. Just sit down here and watch Just like the rest of us. Oh, it's flying like you. Keep looking. Get it. Come on, you guys. Well, don't pick it up for him, but just sort of show him. Come on, Drew. That's right. That's your egg. <laughs> keep looking. Come on. Keep going. Can't you be DJ when the song dies? Keep going. Keep going. Can you find more? Good job. Wow. Good job. Wow. You're doing so great. You have so many eggs so far. picking them up. Wow, you have so many eggs and you still have some to find. 
There's more. Come look over there. Yeah, I know. Somebody, somebody wants to get him an extra bucket. Switch it for him. Daddy's gonna hold that for you. Now find more eggs for mommy. Find more eggs. <laughs> no, no. Go find them on the ground. Go find them on the ground. Go, go, go. Get more. Get more. Oh my gosh, you're super fast. Be careful. Is there any more? <laughs> Good job, kiddo. Happy Easter to you.
Somebody might have to share though. <laughs> That's the part I didn't tell them.